Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. Howdy viewers, Brad Proprietor of Barstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I mentioned in a previous video, Epilogues, that there is a mission in which John is sort of finally free and Abigail leaves him because she feels he is not giving up the gunslinger lifestyle. Well, actually, this mission, Fatherhood for Idiots, is where uh, Abigail finally has it with John and she leaves him. So let's get on with this mission. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a... Old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. Tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. Mm. I'm doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get. You take care now. Of course. Now, this is just a sweet, innocent journey where you drive to Strawberry with Jack and you talk to him and try and teach him how to drive a wagon. Now, I'm going to fast forward through all of this. There is a fast travel in it, so let's get on with the crux of the mission. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave... I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hmm. Hi. I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, 
Here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. Okay, I had to do a reload because I screwed something up in the mission and, well, you basically start from the beginning. And so I skipped over a bunch of things like the interaction with the mail clerk and the interaction with Abigail. They don't let you do a save during this mission, so you have to basically start all the way from the beginning and go through the same long boring journey but what happens is John starts to realize they're being followed and well things start to not work out so much I'll let this journey play out so you can see how things transpire but like I said I screwed up and I had to do a little editing sorry about the little rough editing I'm not gonna fast forward through this Again, you got to see how things unfold. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Get away from there. Okay. Gee up. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Slow it down. Don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. He'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Wrong. Don't look around. Oh, Pod, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. 
I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Uh, uh. Before you return to Jack, make sure you loot the guys who attacked you to get some money and some ammo. Then you can return to Jack and things will then unfold. And, well, again, this is where Abigail tends to get mad at you and you wind up, uh, well, you can return to Jack and I'll let things unfold. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Jack is kind of a bookish child, so he's not used to dead people, and so... John will try and calm him down throughout the entire ride back to Pronghorn Ranch. I'm going to fast forward the trip to where you need to see the next part. Go say hi to your mother. What happened? Yeah, it's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problems. It wasn't even a dress. It was a gift for you. This is a two-part video. Motherhood is not where Abigail leaves you. It's where John finds out Abigail has left him. And it's also an interesting part where you find out you get a telegram, and you got to follow this guy to the telegram, and it's an interesting telegram. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the J.M. I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Well... John is going to go speak to Abigail, and, well, things don't quite turn out well, as I stated before. And this is where things go for John not so good, but now he can return back to essentially a gunfighter. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. 
Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. This is where John does decide to change his life, but he still must live the life of a gunslinger for a short time. His gift is some nightshirt or something. I don't know. I'm going to fast forward through chunks of this video because it's all pretty much exposition. John asks Mr. Geddes to back him for a loan, essentially, or give him a recommendation for a loan. And, well, he decides to go help out Sadie Adler. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. And this is one of the more beautiful moments of the game where... John pulls out this trunk, and it has everything. His old gunfighting clothes, and again, this is where he will get everything Arthur Morgan has left him. You'll get all the weapons Arthur Morgan had before he died, and all the trinkets and other stuff. Now, John can go out and become a gunfighter. And now John can explore the world of Red Dead Redemption 2 with everything that Arthur Morgan has left him. Guns, ammo, you name it. John is pretty well equipped. Like I said, my advice would be to buy everything you can before Arthur Morgan dies because it all ends up going to John. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video interesting and you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week involving video games and you don't want to miss out. 
As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.